Hey, Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com, and we've been talking about videos about extremities and staying warm when that water is cold. Now, what I want to talk about is booties and how different booties are made and what can be done to kind of keep your feet a little bit warmer when you're out there in the water. Now, obviously, the different thicknesses of neoprene. The thicker they are, the warmer they're going to be, to a point, obviously. The main thing is keep your core warm, it keeps your extremities warm. So if you have a cheap wetsuit and you put on some really thick booties, I don't know if that's going to work. Make sure you have a good body temperature, something that keeps your upper body, your chest warm, and it goes out to the extremities. But again, the neoprene, the thicker they are, you're going to keep more of that heat in and retain that heat. That's why you'll see their short and low type booties like this. This one will keep your toes a little bit warm. You're going to have an area around the ankles. These are kind of mid-high, so there's not too much area in there between the wetsuit and your booties, but you still are going to have a little bit of area. You might get a cold temperature, but again, these are internal split toe, a real thin neoprene. If it's not real, real cold, definitely go for this. You get better touch, better feel of what you're standing on, the board, whatever it may be. You're going to get it with the thinner that you can get away with, the better. But when it gets really cold, you're going to jump up to something that's like the three mil. They have them up to a five mil, um, and they get thicker. Now remember, the thicker they get, the warmer they are, but the sensitivity and the feel and everything like that is kind of going to go down. How you feel the traction of the board and where the board is or whatever you're putting your feet on. But they do have internal split toe, and they have the higher top here. Now, the main thing is, is you wanna get this either over your wetsuit, your wetsuit over this, but the most important thing, if I could tell somebody, is what happens is, is you get the water that drains through your wetsuit, goes into your booties, and it's not gonna drain out real quick out of a booty. They get down in there, and I tell you, they fill up. So you wanna make sure on the back of your wetsuit, you want those drain holes out of the range of where the booty comes over or under to try to limit that amount of water that'll go down into your booty. Um, if you have any questions about fit or anything else about booties, don't hesitate to give us a call here. We have a bunch of guys in the shop and we know what sizes are gonna fit you in most cases because you want them to be good and snug on your feet. You don't want them really, really loose. But getting the right one for the right temperature and the right fit, we definitely know. We deal with it all the time and we want to be here to help you out on those selections. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com to help keep your feet warmer.